Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The first free packs from EA Sports given back via compensation seem to be in the works. I want to take a look at how EA messed up with a couple SBCs over the weekend and how they're going to be giving some packs back if you did that SBC. I want to talk about how those could impact the market as well because they're giving back tradable versions of these packs that they incorrectly released untradeable over the weekend and speaking of the market there's a lot more craziness to talk about and potentially more movements happening today because we might have some supply today with the first uefa marquee matchups sbc of the year but yesterday it was all about some price range updates around renato sanchez some hero cards and even more cards going extinct with erling holland's gold card of course everybody expecting him to get in the um, team of the week this week. The only Erling Holland that we have on the market right now is his ones to watch at basically 2 million coins. So we're going to take a look at a lot of things today in the video. So strap in, get ready, drop a thumbs up if you're excited for it and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about the compensation packs that are dropping pretty soon. We don't have a date for this as we always do with EA Sports. They give us this very vague w time window of when they might compensate, but it's the Holland's Transfer SBC and the Newcomer's Challenge SBC Reward Packs. They said they were untradeable, but they were not labeled as such, and for that matter, since EA forgot to label them, people assumed they were tradable or it made them seem that they were tradable, so they said they have updated the descriptions accordingly, and players who finished these before the update, so if you you have already done the SBC before they tweeted this out yesterday, right after content time, you're going to be getting tradable reversions, tradable versions of these reward packs in the coming days, right? In the coming days. It doesn't give us a specific date on when this is going to happen. And whenever EA Sports says in the coming days, it usually ends up taking them like three, four, five, sometimes a week. Uh, you know, it, it, it takes a little bit of time for them to get that. But just to reiterate and to make clear what SBCs they're going to be compensating it's this one right here a lot of people saw this sbc on sunday and they're like oh my goodness some tradable pack supply that could move the market but it was actually an untradable sbc and as you can see here the news the newcomers challenge that was dropped on saturday it now says untradable in small fine print block letters right up in there so you know that's that's how they made this known that it was untradable and that's the description change they were talking about but if you did either of these SBCs before yesterday at content, you're going to be getting a free pack back, tradable. And the Holland transfer pack was like half a 50K. It was actually a pretty good pack. So we don't know when that's going to drop, obviously. But whenever it does, it would probably be bring a little bit of supply to the market. Not anything super duper crazy. I would expect that to be done in probably like three to four days. Who knows? It's not that big of a problem. But, you know, EA seemed to take a while with those all the time. So we'll see when they actually go ahead and do that. Now, let's talk about the market in general and continue that trend because the trend has been continuing on the market and a lot of prices just continue to go higher. We'll talk about this, of course, more as the days go on this week because these prices are starting to get pretty high, man. And here's what I'll have to say. You know, as these prices keep trickling upwards and keep rising, Cristiano Ronaldo's 550,000 coins. There are absolutely some cards that you might want to start to think about taking the money on right now, especially some of these out of pack cards, uh, especially like, you know, I think about cards that are going to be coming back into packs on tomorrow, on Wednesday. You think about um, Mohamed Salah's gold card, right? He's been out of packs because the team of the week has been packed. 300,000 coins for this. Basically, at the same price, maybe a little more expensive than Vinny Jr. and Messi. I think that's a card with the rest of the market being the way that it is. Probably going to drop down a little bit. Same thing with Marquinhos' gold card. I think he's like 80-something thousand coins. This would be a card that I would imagine would drop down in price as well. Of course, coming back into packs on Wednesday. So those first two, for sure, you'd want to start to think about. And then maybe even some of those out-of-packs ones to watch cards. Now, there's a bit of an interesting situation here with Holland, right? And here's the predicament that a lot of people are in. I think people maybe even started buying Holland's card because they think that the gold card can go higher after a price range update because... Tomorrow in the team of the week, we are expecting to see Erling Holland's card a part of that squad for what he deserves and in form for was a three goal, two assist performance, right? 
Now, I want to look at some team of the week predictions and we should see to be we should start to see some team of the week leaks today on Tuesday as well. Leaks are very common ahead of team of the weeks being released. We haven't had them super far ahead of time so far this year, but we've absolutely had them on Wednesdays and maybe even today on Tuesday, we could start to see some information about that stuff. Now, here's what I think about Holland's gold card. And I got this is a really big example. So I want to talk about this one specifically, and we'll talk more about team of the week here in a second. But Holland, of course, is up crazy big. And it's a combination of the hype with the, the lengthy body type. And this is only on next gen. If you have not heard about this, I'll link a video in the description to a gameplay YouTuber named Inception who explains this very, very well. Um, it's basically these are the cards that are the most meta is the lengthy accelerate type it's only a next gen thing but there's so much hype around this right now which is adding on to the price that erling holland is which is super duper inflated because he's been out of packs for ones to watch and i think people were buying up this card even more yesterday because now they're thinking okay he's gonna get in informed he's gonna be out of packs again for a few more days Again, you do have to rely on EA Sports here for not one, but two aspects of this. If Holland is going to go higher than 350, one, they have to give him a price range update, which they've already updated his price twice. He was 220, now he's 350, right? They're going to have to upgrade it a second time, right? From 222, 350, and now beyond. And also what they're going to have to do is put him in team of the week. Now you would think that that'd be a given, but EA can do EA things, man. And that's why if you have this Holland card, and especially if you bought this at like, I don't know, if you bought this under 220,000 coins, to me, selling at 350 is a really safe play. Now, could this go higher? Yes. EA have been updating price ranges pretty consistently it takes them a couple days after a card goes extinct but if he does get in team of the week his gold card will not be in packs until like what wednesday uh of, sorry yeah wednesday of next week would be when his gold card would come back into packs for the first time since like the web app almost or since last friday so that's my opinion on this card yes it could go to 400k that'd be stupid expensive in my opinion but, you know, if he does get in the team of the week, that's probably where he goes. So if you want to hold out for that, you can. But if you just want the cash and you want to get ready, maybe before any sort of like panic would happen this weekend with a road to the final or road to the knockout promo, that could be a very smart play for this card as well. So that's kind of what we're looking at with a card like this. That's the only one that's in that category. But I wanted to spend some time talking about him because I know so many of you guys have that card. And I know that he's so hyped, so it's a tough situation. But again, the whole market continues to rise up and a lot of prices are starting to get pretty, pretty high up there. And we're going to have to start watching those as we head throughout the week this week. Now, we talked about the price range updates as well. This was the man that had the biggest upgrade swing yesterday with his price extinct at 450. Um, his price range comes online, then he goes to about 500k, spikes to 550, and then just starts dying all the way down to 400,000 coins. This Renato Sanchez card went on an absolute roller coaster ride yesterday. I actually bought one accidentally. I was trying to bid on him for 500,000 coins. I was trying to bid on this card, and I bought the card. Buy it now at 550. If you want to see a video of it, it's on the Clips channel. I'll uh, put like a little card up to it here, but. Yeah, that was kind of wild, and it ended up being okay because I sold the card for a loss at 514k, and I got it out of my sight as fast as possible. But he ended up going down to 400, and now he is bouncing back just based off of some rarity um, and based off of you know, after a huge panic sell like that, cards always bounce back, especially if it's a brand new card that's not been in packs for very long that people want to try or just have and, and you know a collect, I guess, to hold on to whenever he gets the two upgrades that people expect him to get with PSG getting three wins and Portugal getting a win at the World Cup, taking this guy to an 85 rated card, of course. That's the hype around this guy. Some people were saying that a lot of the panic yesterday could have been due to as well the fact that if Renato were to get any upgrades, which you would assume that he would, he would no longer be able to have the lengthy accelerate body type in game. That's correct. Any player that has over 84 agility and uh, yeah, that's 84 agility is the stat that you cannot go over if you're going to have the lengthy body type or acceleration type in game. So that's just one thing to kind of watch out for and look out for because of course, as we head throughout this year and right now where the meta is in FIFA, that lengthy accelerate type is what everybody talks about. So Make sure you have that in there and you know that, that 84 is the max. And that would be assuming that the strength could be boosted to 99 with a chem style. You have to have a 14 
what is, is it 14? Yeah, 14 or so or so difference between strength minus agility to get that lengthy, um, you know, accelerate type in the game. So that's kind of what went on with the Renato card yesterday. It was pretty crazy and pretty wild. But again, like we said, the market in general continued to go up. I bought Lewandowski on a snipe. This was my redeeming moment for losing coins on Renato Sanchez. I sniped this Lewa at 290, sold it just a bit ago for 387. That was a big dub, made all the coins back and then some there. Bought a Valverde at 142, bought a Crouch at 170 something. Uh, bought some Bernardo Silva's at like 43, 44, sold them for 47, 48. Uh, got a lazy on layout and just flipped a couple other cards. I still have some other golds that I'm trading with. A couple of these Team of the Week cards that I'm messing around with right now at the moment as well. And then I just bought a Cool um, just to be fully transparent with what I'm trading at the moment. I just bought a Cool for 400k because he's getting kind of low. Usually these uh, heroes late night get pretty rare and they get pretty expensive. But uh, once this 429 gets bought and once this price kind of fluctuates back up, I think he'll be back up there in like the 450 range. As again, a lot of the market, as we have mentioned a couple times already, just went higher and higher yesterday. Now, let's talk about today. Could that change? I think there is a potential of that. And speaking of today, first, what I want to look at is a bit of the content that we might see today. Gakpo, if you go back and take a look at the Eredivisie official Twitter account, this player of the month, Gakpo, is uh, dropping today on Tuesday. They say available from Tuesday from the Eredivisie Twitter account. So this will be a part of our Tuesday content. Uh, this is the card he's going to get as well. It's kind of nice that these leagues are now posting the pictures with the actual cards and stats. We saw this with La Liga and Valverde as well. And then we know we're going to get a Gakpo today, and those are going to be the stats. So again, it all comes down to EA and the price they want to put out for this card. That'll be a part of our content today. And of course, the question marks around the UEFA marquee matchups, because today also begins a UCL group stage day. Group stage match day number three. And what do you know? We went back and did a little bit of research from last year. The first time that we had UEFA marquee matchups last year in FIBA 22 was also on match day number three. So it's a little bit earlier this year because of the way the calendar falls. But I think there is a very good potential that EA drops this SBC today. It'd be really easy content for them to put out. And it would be a nice pack supply SBC that would maybe drop the market just a smidge, but it would give us some supply to trade on the market as well. We've been doing that these past couple of days. Every day that we get a little bit of supply, you see these cards on the market just dip a little bit and then rise up a little bit further afterwards, right? If we take a look at Benzema on Sunday, um, you know, went down to like he was a 105, had a slight dip to around 100. And then, of course, his prices are just continually rising. He went all the way up to 120. Yesterday, he was like 124, barely dropped at all and just, it just kept rising. So maybe today with the UEFA marquee matchups, I mean, they could put a, a, a matchup in there for any of the next two days between Tuesday and Wednesday. Inter versus Barcelona is one of the higher tier or highlight games, I guess you could say. Maybe Ajax, Napoli could be involved. Chelsea, Milan could very easily be uh, in here. Maybe Sevilla, Dortmund. Benfica, PSG. I mean, there's a lot of options. And, you know, they usually try to pick the higher profile matchups. But bottom line is UEFA marquee matchups always brings tradable pack supply to the market. And that could be coming today as well. Um, and, you know, with these cards uh, or with these games being played on Tuesday today, watch out for some of these guys that are, of course, have ones to watch cards. So like the Barcelona Lewandowski card that I just sold or the uh, Bayern delict that you have and you of course have uh sadio mane that's a once to watch card from bayern munich as well you know some of these cards are already up lewandowski's 395 right he's getting pretty rare right now at the nighttime mane is 715 this card is like getting super rare and going up a ton so these cards technically can't upgrade from a Champions League performance, unless EA would weirdly drop man of the matches, which I don't expect them to do. Um, but you still see people buy them up if they score, if they perform well, just because they maybe don't understand how those cards work. It's kind of like a five head play uh, that happens. Oh, I guess Bergwijn for Napoli today too, if you uh, look into that one. And Nunez actually with uh, Liverpool and Rangers. All right, there's multiple guys that are on the table today for a potential upgrades. So just watch those ones to watches. I know they're getting up in price there a little bit already as people are, you know, know that they have a game coming up today and there's, you know, just hype around the certain player. So keep an eye on those. And then one thing I want to look at as well is, like I mentioned, the team of the week leaks and some of these gold cards are starting to rise up a lot on the market. I will, I will drop these um, predictions down below in the comments as well or in the uh, description because there's some good team of the week predictions here now this one to me seems a little far-fetched um, Holland and Kunku 
Leao, Ben Yedder, Musiala, Klaus, Smalling, Milinkovic, Savage. Um, you know, and Kunku is the one that makes me, it, it feels a little far-fetched for me, but this I think is pretty, pretty realistic for a lot of these cards. Also foot.gg did a prediction. I think this one's really good. Honestly, I think this one seems about accurate. Um, he's got layout Ben Yedder and Holland. Those seem to be pretty good. Um, you know, potential for kind of like your headlining front three in this team of the week. This one has Timo Werner instead of Nkunku. Still has Musiala, of course. Zambo and Guisa could be a pretty good card. Klaas, left wing back position change, could be pretty good. Then on the bench, you might have, uh, you know, a French goalkeeper in the Prem. Those are always good links. Xhaka, Almiron for a pacey winger from Newcastle. That could be good. A couple uh, cheap beasts in here as well, potentially. Trossard, center attacking mid. That could be a really nice looking card. Um, you know, you see those stats there. All 80s in the attacking stats on that card. So that could be pretty nice. And watch out for the leaks. As I'm saying, I know that Team of the Week stuff is not for tomorrow. But, of course, you start to see a few of these gold cards go up in price in, you know, anticipation of them getting into Team of the Week. Like, uh, and Kunku's gold was like 150 yesterday, and he's pushing 170,000 coins. So a little bit of extra market rise on him. Him, Ben Yedder, of course, is already up a good amount uh, in price as well. Um, his gold card was like 20, 18,000 coins actually on Sunday before he started scoring goals. And now he's 26K. So, you know, stuff like this, if you see a leak for a player that's going to get in team of the week, like let's say Werner gets in instead of in Kunku, Werner's already up a little bit, but since it's Werner, Pacey, Bundesliga striker. This card might go up another one to 2,000 coins. So just watch out for a potential like quick flip or maybe if you invest or trade it all off of leaks, you might be able to have some sort of opportunity alongside of that today. And if if they were to leak that Phil Foden was in team of the week, then you know that's, that's the part of me that's like, hmm, better safe than sorry maybe with how much profit you could have on an Erling Holland gold card right now. Um, if... If Foden gets in team of the week and if EA snub Holland, because also Foden is an EA ambassador um, and an EA ambassador being somebody whose face you see in the game all the time, right? Like Foden's in the menus and it's in the graphics and stuff. Um, so, you know, there's there's that that's there and to think about and to kind of not worry about, but just be cognizant of, right? And just remember that that type of thing, you know, you know, EA does like to favor their their players that they that they have kind of um, aligned with. So I don't know. We'll have to see. It's going to be an interesting Tuesday, especially with that supply. The Gakpo SBC could make some of those Eredivisie and Dutch links rise up a little bit. I'd watch that Bergwijn ones to watch. And again, if you're trading on the market right now, my best advice that I can give you is with the fluctuations on the rare cards, like the informs, the heroes, these ones to watches, and even the meta gold cards, uh, just keep trading with those position change trade. Um, and you know, like I was saying with some of these cards that are just really, really hyped up because they are a certain accelerate style. Um, I don't know if Havertz can Havertz be made. No, he can't. So, you know, just different cards like this, people are trying to go out and, and figure out what's a meta for them right now. And just look through a bunch of flipping graphs. I know I say that a lot, but like, it's, it's the truth, man. Like Havertz was 76 K and then he went up to like 82 right now. He's 79. So there's not a lot of whole, a lot of profit room in there for flips. But if you look around the market enough, you will find cards that fluctuate enough every single day that you will be able to trade with. Chow many right now is like 87 K. And what was he to start the day yesterday? He was he was down at 80, 79,000 coins, and now he's back up to 87, right? That's like an 8K swing. You know, you're making 4K a card there, which is not too bad for a flip in the early stage of this game. So that's kind of what I would say. And of course, I really enjoy trading with these heroes. A lot of people are trading with them, and their prices continue to go up a lot, as you can see here. Uh, cool, still a little bit low, bro. 410. We'll see where this goes into the morning and into today. But it should be an interesting Tuesday with that content. And of course... Everybody, when they hear about supply coming like you wait for marquee matchups, you might see a few prices drop this morning if there's a little bit of panic, but I would not be very worried about it because unless people flip the switch and decide they want to start selling, I don't think you're going to see a ton of price drops today. But again, we're getting closer and closer to that big promo of like a road to the final or a road to the knockouts this weekend. I think there will be a bit of market movement before that, so we'll probably be looking into that tomorrow night just to get prepared and to talk about what that could bring and especially what this weekend could bring with the first weekend league so if you enjoyed this video smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate's foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out